uh, at CES, which is the Consumer Electronics Show happening in Las Vegas, uh, at the end of the Sony presentation uh, for their keynote, they sprang this on the crowd. They That's have a, a concept a... car that they rolled out on stage after they announced the new PlayStation. Dun, and dun, they dun. indicated that <laughs> this new concept car uh, is, uh, is something that they're, uh, that they're interested in. They had an actual working model on stage. How much of it was working? Well, certainly the interior was working. The screens were working. Um, you don't know about the drive frame. into the dash so you can play PlayStation while the car is self-driving? Uh, well, I, I got to believe that that's right on their radar screen, Paul. Uh, you can see from the photo here that the back seat uh, has access to screens in front of uh, each of the people in the back seat. Uh, you've got a large upfront screen that looks like it runs the full course of the dash. And information that's come from this, they're really light on what it was. What was the drivetrain? It, 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 all they said it was an electric vehicle is really all they said. They didn't get into any details. But uh, uh, The Verge here, where the article's from, had indicated that they've got information that um, some other industry players have combined to make this vehicle, such as uh, BlackBerry, uh, Cunix type system. Uh, Bosch has contributed something to this. Uh, mostly the, you know, certainly um, a number of different players. The platform itself, the EV platform, uh, has been engineered by automotive supplier Magna, uh, which is a Canadian company that uh, has developed uh, many lines uh, for cars uh, traditional cars, and they've they've talked up their electric in for quite some time now, and apparently oh, yeah. they were this, is their, this is their drivetrain. They build the i mm. for Jaguar. And I'm sorry, Focus Electric. Yeah. So uh, some some you know it's a sedan. Uh, it looks like it's got some great lines. That's, uh, that's, the car I, has I a love this car. car. Uh, it uh, it looks wonderful. Um, but, but didn't they close all the Sony stores? <laughs> <laughs> Internet <laughs> only. Uh, they were closing them because they were going to open Sony automotive stores. Right. I guess. That yeah. was, yeah. that was yeah. the big plan. But, uh, Is there the a 26 the inch Trinitron? Uh, it's whether or not they're serious and, and why you leave it to the end of your keynote speech and really don't elaborate a lot on it. It was almost kind of rushed, people were saying, that were present. Uh, that the uh, It was kind of like, oh, and here's a car, and uh, we don't really, uh, we're not really answering many questions about it. So <laughs> it's, um, it's interesting uh, that the, this, this car has appeared. I don't know how serious Sony is, but man, talk about coming from left field on this, though. Like, it, who would have expected Sony uh, to uh, be well, and, building a car? And coming uh, from kind of near kind death. Kind of like this for build, the vacuum company building a car. Or, yeah. I'm sorry. Who's that? <laughs> Dyson. Uh -oh. Dyson. 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 Oh, that's, that's kind of a left field moment as well. So it's, uh, I don't know. It's it's a nice looking car. I, I, would, I would want to get some more details about what their plan is. And until that happens, I'm not sure if this is serious or not. And you well, get a plus free we've seen, uh, cassette Walkman if you buy the car. Plus, we've seen all these <laughs> large manufacturers and Dyson and others actually step up to the plate and then pull it back at the last minute. So, they got ways to go on this one. Lucy I mean, it'd be cool, but I mean, Sony for the last 10 years really hasn't done anything new. I mean, they're kind of been fading away from what mm -hmm. they were in the 70s and 80s and 90s. So, But they're still right. a Japanese megacorp, right? Yeah, but they're well, not. They might, they might do it. Like, like you don't see that like in the old days you go into a Best Buy there'd be like hundred Sony TVs and Discmans and yeah. computers and they don't have a lot of stuff going on right now. So, but everybody uses you know, their cameras. I, yeah, yeah, see, and the thing is that's that's one of the things, Casey, is you know, an article I, I read about this took a whole different approach and it wasn't about Sony coming out with an electric vehicle. It was about Sony putting together a one-off electric vehicle to show people what they could do if they partnered with electric vehicle manufacturers from the so what was this one with solid state lidar mm -hmm. right. um well, they they have, blackberry they have and bosch the cameras, cameras like casey stuff, yeah. said yeah their cameras the screens 
um, the interface, you know, all the electronics, rather than taking a, an existing car and completely gutting it and retrofitting it with Sony stuff, they just built the whole car and said, hey, this is what we could do. And I don't think this car was put together for consumers like us. I think this car was put together and brought out for the automobile executives mm -hmm. for them to see that holy crap we should start talking to sony and that's the, the typical use for this show is to bring your components to show what you can do in the consumer electronic space so that somebody will take your stuff and either bring it to market or integrate it into their product and this mm -hmm. will do that exactly yeah yeah of course yeah. i can see the uh tesla ads in two years where there'll be uh Tesla's VHS and Sony's Betamax. Uh, <laughs> Tesla doesn't advertise, Paul. That's true, yes. They, they also use Sony. <laughs> Drink. So if you think about Sony as an yeah. entertainment company that makes movies and games and other things. You'll be able to watch all their catalog while you're driving. Exactly. And if cars go autonomous, then this is the new platform for entertainment. And people are going to be spending time in there, and if Sony controls the screen, then they can make sure that their content is front and center and this, that entertainment option that you have in that vehicle. I think oh, it's God. Is, is, is Disney going to make a car? <laughs> <laughs> they are no, theirs will be a monorail. Yeah. No, okay. right. It's Mickey Mouse. No one will want it. <laughs> Could you just imagine a Goofy driving you being your chauffeur? That's <laughs> <laughs> their that Okay, I have definitely been in that Uber. I, I do think <laughs> Casey brings up a really important point, not just about the context of what CES is and why this was announced there, but in that I don't know that, that Sony's really trying to make a car as much as they are saying, we do have this technology and we're good at this, and there's a possible partnership or collaboration at some point, uh, which certainly, you know, if it brings in more money, then yay, Sony, right? Uh, mm -hmm. That's where I see this more likely than than Sony developing a vehicle. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, I agree because yeah, for for Sony to build a dealer network and stuff to sell cars would be crazy. Mm -hmm.